everybody welcome back to my youtube channel um today is a really exciting video for me to be doing today um it is basically going to be my curly transitioning journey uh so my curly hair transitioning transitioning journey um i have always been that girl with the curly hair that always wanted straight hair and I mean, that's just a generic thing, it's always the case. The girls with the curly hair want the straight hair, the girls with the straight hair want the curly hair. So I've always been that curly haired girl who wants straight hair and I flat iron my hair every week and I always had straight hair and I hardly ever wore my hair natural. Um, but as of recently, I've really just been wanting to embrace my natural curls and just really love the hair that I have ultimately and um, so I decided that uh, quarantine and lockdown was the best time right now for me to go on this transitioning journey because I really have the time to take the time <laughs> if that makes sense I have the time to take the time um, and make the effort to actually do something about this hair so right now this is month one i haven't been doing anything last month i flat ironed my hair as well so this is month one and um of absolutely no heat and i'm going to show you guys um certain things that i've picked up and then also certain things that i still need to pick up i've been watching like a ton of youtube videos trying to assist me and talk to a ton of friends and family um, who have transitioned or are further down the transitioning line to try and see like what worked for them what should I get because I was absolutely coming in in the dark not knowing at all what on earth I should be doing what I should be buying what I should be using so I'm going to show you guys what I have picked up and what I have been using um, and then I'm going to show you um, as well what my hair state is right now and I'm hoping to do like a monthly update on how my transitioning journey is going, what I'm enjoying, what I'm not enjoying, what I've, I've learned, what I still need to learn, what I've done right, what I've done wrong. Um, so I'm hoping you can come on this journey with me and we'll see how it goes. And I, I really want the curls that I see other girls have because I think it looks so beautiful. And I'm hoping that my curls can get there. Um, but I know that it's going to take time, so I'm not rushing it and I'm not expecting that it's going to be a quick journey. I know that it's going to take some time, but I think at least I won't be doing it alone and we'll be on this together. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to show you guys my hair. So I'm going to come closer to the camera. Okay, um, you can see that I have some curl pattern. I do have a little bit of curl pattern, not a ton. Um, and if you see like at the bottoms of, of my hair, um, the curl pattern really starts to disappear. I, my ends are very frayed. Um, you can tell a lot of flat ironing has been happening because the curls, there's like hardly any curl pattern at all. It's very just like wavy. Um, my hair is quite long okay so let me come down a bit so it's quite long it's almost to my butt but it definitely it's like right down to my waist like here um, but it definitely needs a trim um, I would love to go to the hair salons actually the hair salons are just opening so they just announced that hair salons are allowed to um, come back um, so I would love to but I'm just a little bit scared <laughs> with coronavirus and all of that but it definitely needs a trim so I know from what I've watched on YouTube videos that the big cut is essential in your transitioning journey and I don't want to do a big cut because I actually um, about a year ago actually yes about exactly a year ago did a big cut and I cut my hair shoulder length and it's taken a year to grow completely back um, and I don't want to do another big cut so I'm willing to do about a, a trim, at least a trim off the dead ends. So maybe about that much of hair. I think what I have in terms of curl to there is fine. And I think I can work with that. So I'm not keen on doing a huge cut. Um, so I'm just going to do a medium cut. <laughs> medium to small cut. 
um, and then we'll we'll work with that but I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get to the salon um, we'll have to see about that because they're just opening this week so um, we'll see how that works so that's my hair um, it's yeah there's also like no volume when it comes to my hair and um, even when I tried the routine this morning I tried a routine that I've been watching on YouTube and not putting too much product on the roots and whatever I mean my hair's not 100% dry it's about 90% dry right now but there's still like no volume my hair just falls very much flat and I would like to get a bit more volume in my curls so that's something that I'm looking to get so a bit more curl pattern and a little bit more volume in my curls so those are two things that I'm hoping to get um, in this transitioning journey okay <laughs> so now that we've seen my hair and um, what are my intentions are I'm gonna show you guys some products that I've picked up um that i'm hoping will assist me in this journey so i'm gonna start um with washing stuff so shampoo conditioner okay um i don't have a shampoo my shampoo ran out <laughs> and i unfortunately washed my hair with a terrible shampoo i used my husband's shampoo <laughs> this morning but um the brand that i am using currently is um maui moisture Okay, so this is the conditioner. I've run out of the shampoo and um, Maui Moisture is a really great brand to use because they are sulfate free, silicone free, paraben free and from all of the YouTube videos that I have watched, I know that that is essential in a curly girl's hair journey. You don't want a shampoo with sulfates and you don't want a conditioner with silicones. So, um, the Maui Moisture range is a range that doesn't have any of those bad things and I've really enjoyed um, using their products thus far. Um, I really love their conditioner. It's great for detangling in the shower because that's where I brush my hair out. I don't, now that I've started this curly go this month, I don't brush my hair in the week. I brush it out in the shower and this is great for detangling. Um, I also have tried uh, the Sheer Moisture, so this is the Sheer Moisture Deep um, Treatment Mask, the um, Raw Sheer Butter. I didn't enjoy this, but I'm still using it because it was expensive, um, so I'm still using it. So what I've been doing is I will shampoo and then I will put this in and leave it in for 5-10 to 10 minutes and then when I'm done I will then condition with the Maui moisture so this is the one that I'm using uh, why won't it focus let's focus 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 there we go okay so this one is the coconut milk conditioner um, so I'll do the mask for five to ten minutes and then I will condition afterwards because this one I didn't enjoy because it wasn't a great detangler and it didn't give me the slip that I needed so I just really didn't enjoy it I also when I looked at reviews mine just seemed very different mine is very thick very thick and like literally thick and when I've seen girls use it on YouTube theirs is not thick like it can loop out and drop and this is not that consistency so I don't know I don't know but I've been using it but I haven't enjoyed it um, Lastly, uh, when it comes to shampoo and conditioner, I've bought this um, massage brush. Okay, so this is the Denman um, shampoo massage brush. So once, I, once I've shampooed, I just have this in the shower and I like rub the shampoo into my scalp. Um, this I've just recently bought and I tried it out this morning for the first time and I really liked it. it actually was not hard at all I thought these because the spikes are so tiny if you can see I thought they were going to poke my head and they actually didn't they were actually pretty soft they were not as hard as I thought they were going to be and this actually really worked really well because I find I have a lot of product build up especially on the crown of my head and I think this will help even with dry scalp and um apparently this also promotes hair growth so I'm hoping to see I mean I don't suffer from struggle to grow my hair but I'd like to see how this works 
And then lastly, when it comes to in the shower, when I detangle, I love to use my tangle teaser. My tangle teaser is the best brush I've ever used in the shower. I have a few detangling brushes that you can use wet, but my tangle teaser, if we can focus, there we go. This one is my favorite to use in the shower when I have the conditioner in and then I just brush the conditioner through. Beautiful, love this. I own like four tangle teasers, different variations of the brand. I love it. Okay, so that's in shower. So out of the shower, um, I then follow, I follow a weird method. I've seen a lot of different methods, but the method that I've followed is I have an oil. So I use um, argan oil. So this is a 100% pure natural argan oil. The only ingredient in this is argan oil. Um, I My hair is really dry, so I like to use the argan oil in the hair. And then I use either, also from the brand Maui Moisture, is either the Styling Milk or the Styling, I think it's the Smoothie. <laughs> Almost said Souffle. So it's the Styling Milk and then the Styling Smoothie. And then I will choose one of the two ones, a bit thinner than the other. And I'll run it. I won't go directly to the roots. I'll probably start about here. And I run it through the hair. Okay. And then what I have purchased da, 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 is the Curly Girl brush, which is the Denman brush, okay? I bought the Denman brush. I used it for the first time today, and I actually really liked it. It's the first time my hair had somewhat of a curl pattern appearing, at least in this half of the hair. And I will, once I put the product in, I will then brush the hair with the Denman brush upwards. So I won't brush down. I brush going up. And this brush just helps to give curl pattern in the hair. And I actually really enjoyed this, using this brush. Um, okay, and then once I've done that, then I, got, I went in with my gel. So I have the Eco Styling Gel. Okay. Um, I would like to try a mousse as well, because I think a mousse might be a little bit less heavy, especially because I'm looking for a bit more volume and less way down here i think that maybe going in with a mousse rather than a gel might be a bit better so when i went in with the gel i just took the gel in my hands i rubbed it and i scrunched up so i scrunched the gel in i didn't rub the gel through once i brushed with the denman brush then i scrunched the gel up like this i turned my head upside down and then same thing scrunched the hair upward um and then I, that was it. Yeah. So that was it. And then I just let it air dry. I also have a, I bought a blow dryer with a diffuser because I know that I can't always air dry my hair. So I do, I have, I did purchase that as well. Um, and I've learned not to go up like this with the diffuser, but to spin it around my head because going up apparently is bad for your hair after the 5 million youtube videos that i've watched so yeah okay um other products that i have um that i've gone through the videos and have seemed important to have are number one invisi bubbles so when i want to tie my hair up because obviously when i want to sleep or when i don't want to wear my hair down i then use the invisi bubble because it doesn't damage the hair and doesn't pull the hair out I also purchased a satin bonnet <laughs> because um, it helps when you sleep and it helps to not let your hair frizz and it doesn't damage the hair like the cotton pillowcase would. Okay. And then last but not least, I have my spritzer bottle which just has water in it for when I need to replenish the water in my hair. I just spritz, 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 spritz. <laughs> So that's kind of what I purchased and I know there's still a lot of things that I need. The curly girl method is not an easy one and it's one that requires a, a couple of products. So I'm going to take you through the products that I still need to purchase. And the first one is I definitely need a shampoo and I'm going to get one from the same brand Maui Moisture. So I'm going to get a shampoo. Um, I would like to get a satin pillowcase, but because I have the bonnets, the pillowcase I'm not in a rush to get because I can still use this every night. 
but I would like to get the pillowcase because I don't want to have to wear this every night. Uh, my husband calls this the duck, <laughs> and I don't want to have to wear it every night. It's really not the most attractive thing to have on my head every night. So the satin pillowcase is definitely on my wish list. Um, the third item that I would like to get is um, a microfiber towel, or I need an old cotton shirt. Um, I recently emptied out my closets and gave some stuff away for donation so I don't have any old cotton shirts so I would like to get a microfiber towel I did use a regular towel and I know that's not great for curly hair it apparently makes it frizz so on my list of things that I would like to get is a microfiber towel which is supposed to help dry your hair but not damage it or frizz it out so that is also on my um, list of things that I want to get um, Lastly on my list of things that I want to get are some oils for a uh, deep conditioning or a oil treatment before I wash it. My hair tends to get very dry very quickly. So um, there are a couple of oils that I would like to try and I've seen different girls using different oils when they do oil treatments. And I've spoken to different people who've given me some advice as to the oils they use so i would like to try and see what works for me so when it comes to carrier or essential oils i've been recommended lavender chamomile and i've seen a tea tree and peppermint so um, i'm probably not going to get all of them but I'll, I'll maybe pick two of them and see which one works for me and then of the natural oils um a coconut oil or olive oil from the cooking section so the actual 100 percent ingredient so I, i'm probably going to try one of those i'm not sure which one or castor oil black castor oil was also one of the natural oils i was recommended so out of those three i'll probably pick one of them and then i'll pick maybe one or two of the carrier oils and then you mix the two together and you do like a deep conditioning and you leave that in maybe overnight or for a couple of hours before you wash so i'm going to try that out and see which one works best for my scalp because I do suffer from dry scalp and which one works best for my hair because I do suffer from dry hair and um, see which one helps and then last but not least I definitely need a daily moisturizer because I have dry hair and I've seen that Kentu has one my sister actually recommended their daily moisturizer so I'm gonna uh, see if I can get that I did go and it wasn't in stock at the just came that I went to and the clicks that I went to but I'm gonna go check again at month end and see if they have that or if there's another version of a daily moisturizer that can assist me with the dry hair um, especially because like I'll be keeping this for a full week before I wash it again so just to reamp the moisture in the hair daily without weighing it down too much um, I think that's about it. <laughs> I think I spoke a lot and I, I hope I didn't speak too fast. Um, I just wanted to kind of get everything there and I think that it, I'm, I'm very excited to not have to use heat anymore. I'm very excited to um, see how my curls transform. Um, I'm very excited to you know find things that I love and see what I don't like and you know because everybody's so different. I'm very excited to learn new things. I mean, there's still things that even though I've watched videos, I still don't understand. So for example, porosity and protein and uh, do you need more protein or less protein or are you in the middle? Like that I still don't understand. I, I think I just need to watch more videos. I don't know what on the end of the spectrum I am when it comes to protein. So I still need to learn when it comes to that. I need to learn what brands I don't like and I mean I can only do that by trying and uh, seeing what works for me so I'm just kind of excited to go on this journey and I'm excited to see um, where my hair goes and I'm excited to see what happens and if, it, I'll, if I'll stick with it at the end or if I'll say like you know it wasn't for me um, but yeah I'm just excited to see what happens and I really hope that you stick with me on this journey and you go through it with me and for those of you that are transitioning with me, we can be strong together and we will figure it out and see what happens. And yeah, I think that's it from me. And 
thank you again for um, watching my video and if you really like these videos and if you want to watch more please don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, don't forget to click the notification bell button if so you can get notified when I post new videos and hopefully I'll be doing the hair transformation journey videos once a month or even twice a month depending on uh, what I have to film and um, I, I really I have fingers crossed. Um, so thank you guys for watching and love you all. Bye.